Alright, so we got this out of here. Uh, I didn't tape this one. So what you did do is uh, take this off. There's a rubber plug that looks like this. So you take it all off, unscrew it, pry it open, take off more screws, and uh, remove it from this uh, inverter, and you get this. Now, what's more important is you flip it over, and you find the model number. So this is uh, LP141 WX3. Most of the time, this is all you need, but uh, a lot of times they also list this number. Then you just go on eBay and uh, you will find the controller board for this LCD. So after I harvested the screen, I will I need to start doing some shopping, and so I came to Amazon. I, first, I need this LCD driver for LP one four one WX three. So typically, you could just search for put the model number in and type in driver behind it, and you find uh, many selections. Uh, I picked the one that's for 1958 because obviously it's the cheapest one and uh, it suits what I needed to do. It has a HDMI input and uh, the rest I really don't care about. I think it also supports audio output but you have to uh, solder on the headers but I really don't care about it so this is the one I purchased. If you go back to the ones before, you also see some of them with a bigger remote control, has um, more video inputs, even has a USB port, um, it has uh, other things like this guy over here. Uh, I th let me take a look here. Oh, it supports uh, this, looks to me a composite input but you know uh, I'm gonna use it on Raspberry Pi so this is going to be strictly HDMI save some money buy the HDMI version that's it then the next item I need to buy would be a um, 12 volt power supply so I try to find the kind that uh, looks like a wall watt that plugs straight into the wall instead of these kind that looks like a laptop power supply so this looks good to me and uh, so look around this looks good so 12 volt 3 amp uh, the reason I choose 3 amp is to have uh, enough power to uh, power both the screen and the Raspberry Pi. So typically these screens, the LCD drive extra amp to power the Raspberry Pi. Don't forget to pick up accessories that you may need such as micro SD card and HDMI cables. As far as the Raspberry Pi goes, if you have micro center nearby, you should check them out. They are having a discount on the 3B Plus since the 4 came out and their serial Ws are only 5 bucks each. Use the 3B Plus if you want more power, particularly if you will be using the Magic Mirror project. If you use something like Darkboard, then you only need the serial W. And that's enough shopping for today. If you'd like to do a similar project, the links to the products are down below except you may need to look for your own LCD driver boards uh, according to the model number on the LCD panels you got. Thank you for your time and I'll see you in the next video.